Hello and welcome to another one of our videos where uh, this is another one of our back pain myths that we're busting. Um, always love this quote, moving isn't important till you can't. Um, you know, and it really sums up back pain to a degree. Most people don't do anything about it till it gets to a, become a really big problem. So, and a lot of the things that are being used are really just treating the symptoms and just trying to remove the pain without really, really uh, really looking at the reason you're in pain. So, um, yeah, so anyway, let's move on to today's one, which is our sixth one in our series. And this one is uh, to looking at the belief that uh, being overweight is the reason that you're in pain, and just by losing weight, your back pain will go away. Um, so, out of all of the myths, this is probably the most ridiculous one of them all. Um, I can't believe I'm even making a video about this, but I, I do actually hear this from. Uh, quite a bit from time to time. I even get people recommended f to come and see us from doctors who've told them that. Um, just go and see a personal trainer and lose some weight and your back pain will be fine. Um, there's several problems with this. So firstly, this implies that every single overweight person will have back pain, which is not true. And it also um, uh, implies that uh, all skinny people don't have back pain, So which I can tell you I see lots of skinny people all the time. Some of the skinniest people I've ever seen have the worst problems. So, um, so the thinking, the ex the, basically the thinking behind it um, is the extra weight is basically compressing and crushing the spine. But um, there's so many more things to that, you know. Um, and like I said, sometimes the lightest people have the most trouble. So always remember, back pain doesn't discriminate. If you move poorly, it doesn't matter if you're big, you're small, you're old, you're young you're fit, you're unfit, it doesn't matter. If you move poorly, you'll pay a price. All right, so even elite athletes have back pain. People forget that, you know, so this instantly, I could really finish this video right now, but, um, so firstly, where does it exist? So basically we've been convinced, you know, from a lot of things that by losing weight, well, that most health problems are due to overweight. And in some cases, this is true, you know, um, poor lifestyle factors that lead to diabetes, which you know you would have seen overweight as a symptom of that before it become a big problem, um, for sure. You know, and there's no doubt there is a lot of th links to being overweight and um, and and problems that we see. But but the thinking of just uh, all I have to do is lose the weight is is not as as easy that because you could easily lose weight in a drastic way and you. Um, and you could end up in a worse problem than you're already in. So, so it's not really losing weight. It's the it's the lifestyle factors, the good food, drinking water, moving well, all those things. They're the things you really need to do. So, if you do them, then weight loss will happen as a result. Um, but just trying to drastically lose weight is not really. You're just really neglecting the real problems. So. Um, and like I said at the start, if the assumption that lose, being overweight is the cause of back pain, this would then why we would see every single big super heavyweight life weightlifter have back pain, but because um, they are, they are really big and they are quite have, they need the extra mass to lift the loads like the, the, as you see here, but um, you know and being overweight may exacerbate the problem, but it's not the cause. So we, if if anything, these super heavyweight guys are the strongest people in the world, and they they're the least likely to get back pain. So in this case, the extra weight has actually helped them, not made them worse. So you can sort of see this um, assumption has just got so many problems with it. Um, as I touched on a minute ago, the problem with many weight loss programs, they're really based around restricting calories. And sure, you may lose the weight, but if you're not careful with how you've structured your eating plan, you might end up becoming more unhealthy because you might be cutting out essential vitamins and minerals that are found in foods that you're removing. Um, and you may see the scales go down, but you're starting to see other health problems as a result. Um, and, and again, if you're exercising, you may not be actually giving yourself nutrition to recover from it, and you're assuming that you're actually moving well in the first place, where well, you may not be. So um, you're basically, you know, this is not, losing weight is a lot of problems. So. To become healthy, you really need a lot of factors, and you can't sort of just pick the one you like. You've got to do them all. You've got to have a good diet. You've got to have, reduce your stress. This one here will come as a result of really these: so, good exercise, sleeping well, drinking good water, and this, and your food and your stress will end up with that. You know, and that's that's really what it comes down to. You just can't pick the ones 
that you think are the, are, are the fun to do. All right. Um, a good book, if you've never read it before, is a good example. And this is a, coming back to the assumption that skinny people are always healthy. This person was, you can see her physique here, she's very, very thin. Um, she had all types of health problems and was obsessed with her running and, and, and ridiculous starvation diet because she was scared of putting weight on. And we, we've all heard of these things before. So, um, you know, and had a huge amount of problems as a result of that. So. So this is where you could be fit but not healthy. So I always tell people like health is first and weight loss is a byproduct of becoming health. So if you just focus on on improving your health through a good balance of things, um, you'll be right. And so fitness and health are just not the same thing. That you got to you got to earn fitness. All right. So, but when it comes to back pain, losing weight will not change how you move. All right, so if you bend over like this, it doesn't matter if you're, if you're overweight or underweight. If you bend like this, you'll end up with a back problem. So just picking up a box will be enough. And if you train in the gym, you'd get that straight away, but you might get this over a period of time and not work out why. But losing weight will not change. If that's how you, the only way you know to bend, it doesn't matter what you do with your weight loss, with your diet or whatever. It's, you need to learn how to bend properly. All right, so like I said at the start, it doesn't discriminate. If you bend poorly, you'll get back pain. So we've come to, as you, if you've watched all the other videos on these back pain myths, we've come to this same conclusion with every one of them because all of these myths are just ignoring the simple fact that you, you need to learn how to move properly. So, um, and a lot of these myths are sort of focusing on one particular thing. So, you know, and, and in some cases it might be good. Say, for example, rest was one of our myths. Rest is actually a very important part. But if that's all you do, you're not going to you're not going to change anything. You, you need to rest in the beginning, but then learn how to move properly. Um, same with stretching. Stretching is useful, but if that's all you do. It's not going to help you. So in this case, weight loss may may even help reduce the exacerbation of the pain, but it's not going to change the reason you're in pain. So. Um, so learning to move well is the is the really what you have to come down to. So you know you can read some of the stuff we've got here. So focusing on single areas of muscle weakness or stiffness, all going to be useful, but it won't change how you move. So the only way to do this is by teaching your brain better strategies. All right. So in summary, being overweight can exact, exacerbate symptoms, but not always. There is no correlation with it causing back pain at all. So while losing weight is a good thing. Uh, and you make sure you always do it in, in balance with your, your eating and in exercise and lifestyle regimes. Don't use drastic measures just to lose weight. It's never never a good thing. Um, back pain doesn't discriminate. If you move poorly, you'll suffer the pain whether you're skinny, if you're fit, you're unfit, doesn't really matter. Um, the, the big thing that you must do is learn how to move, especially with bending positions. Uh, rotation would be the second one. They're the two things that we see uh, real catalysts behind, all the real triggers of pain. If you can change them and make them good, perfect movements and strengthen them, uh, you'll be right. You'll have a, no problem at all and you'll address the cause. Um, if you have any questions or comments, feel free to chuck them in under the video here. There's plenty of links in the description I've left for you. Um, if you want more help on um, creating programs, assessing your own body, working out how to correct these bending things. They're all covered in this Back Pain Secrets thing uh, program that you can download, um, which is a video and a, and a book. Um, there's also tons of free reports and things that I'll put in the description for you to help you. All right, so anyways, I hope you enjoyed this video and the series of Back Pain Myths, and we'll see you on our next one.